Salt away flush even for freshwater use. Wondering about keeping engine clean of scum and residue. Have also seen people use Dawn. Um, well, Dawn, I mean, dish soap like palm olive and Dawn is what they use to clean ducks in oil spills, right? Um, salt away, uh, what salt away is a is a detergent, and the salt away helps break down um, the calcification of the salt. It also, oh guy, I'm trying to dig this out of my head and it doesn't want to happen. Um, it, it, it keeps it from calcifying and it, it, um, it also is like an, in, it's an adhesion inhibitor. If I remember that right, I hope I am remembering it right. And so that stuff, um, that stuff works to, uh, really help get it out. Now, the reason I like salt away for engine flush, the reason I like salt away for engine flush is, um, not so much for salt. Cause obviously if you're in fresh water, you're not going to run into salt, but what salt away also helps do when you flush it is it's also running, and this is an open loop cooling system, and on a CDU with you know your water box, is it also inhibits, uh, well, it inhibits aluminum rust, and the aluminum, what aluminum rust looks like, it looks like white chalk, all right, it looks really chalky, and it starts to collect and build up, and there is there's a video on YouTube. I, I saw it like a month ago and it was blood curdling. This guy took apart like a, like a, like a 1400, you know, like an FX 1400 or not 1400, a 140, an FX 140. And he pulled the head off of it and all of this corrosion, all of this rust came pouring out of the water jackets. And he goes, this is a freshwater ski and all this crap is coming out of it. So he had to go in there and he had to just clean all the all the water journals out. And I, I mean, I'm watching this. I'm, like, I'm staring at the computer like, oh my gosh. Because I, I just never considered that. Um, and the salt away is, is helping. It's a corrosion inhibitor. So... That that's what you don't get with Dawn soap um, when you're flushing, you know, using dishwasher soap. Makes lots of bubbles though, which is fun. <laughs> the kids like it. The whole you know the whole driveway is covered with bubbles, and they run around kicking. You know that's fun. But uh, I I do recommend. But you know what? You don't have to salt away after a freshwater ride every time. I would salt away like beginning and end of season maybe like really be thorough and salt and doing a salt away like you know at the end of your riding season if you're now if you're in florida and you're riding year round then i would do it probably every three months um but if you're in florida turns chances are you're in salt water so i i hate saying here's a set schedule depends on where you are um okay Hey guys, uh, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.